TCS locations to update is a shared configuration section that appears in a number of different configuration dialogs in Profile Editor. So here we are in the Profile Editor uh, with a new empty um, profile, I mean empty other than the default generated keyboard and profile interface that are, will, will you will find in any uh, newly created profile. So let's add a DCS interface. In this case, we're going to use the F18 uh, Helios style interface. You'll know that the uh, notice that the uh, status is red, and we get you know we don't get a setup button because we can't set up yet, and it tells us we have to add a DCS location. Now pressing this button, what it will do is it will um, try to guess uh, where your DCS is installed. What we're trying to accomplish here is tell Helios about your DCS installation or installations if you want it to configure more than one. Um, I always have a number of different ins uh, installations for testing and such, but a lot of users have uh, one release install and one open beta install uh, to support a multiplayer on different types of servers. And so what's new in uh, this feature is that you can tell Helios about both of them or all of them if you have more than two and it'll configure all of them in terms of the you know the saved games locations and the actual DCS files. So what it will do is we'll look at the registry um, see where DCS was installed it will uh, guess at a number of different um, paths that people tend to use uh, common and default locations and then any of those guest locations that it act that actually exist on your machine will pop up under this profile editor item in the sidebar of the dialog. What the dialog actually says is you need to navigate to autoupdate.config, which is a DCS internal file, but that's the file that marks the root location of a DCS install. So in my case, it actually jumped to drive D, DCS B ne never run, which is a um, a clean copy of uh, open beta that I have that I've never run before but that's the one that's in the registry so that's the one that picked first uh, my actual one is um, over here the one I want to use so I'm just going to manually navigate there uh, and so here's the auto update file and I'm just going to open it so now it says okay you have one DCS installation it's version 2.5.6.497.98 which is the release and the save games folder is going to be just DCS again because it's a release. I also have the open beta installed and I want it to configure it also so I'm going to hit add, add location again and the open beta I'm going to use is on the same drive just next to it. So I just navigate again to that so that's 2.5.6.474.04 I don't think that's up to date but the point is that it is DCS.open beta so it knows the saved games names it knows what version of DCS it is and that, that's going to be important for some of the features we'll discuss later and it knows where it's installed. Now if I want to temporarily not configure that one anymore um, for reasons I can uh, uncheck this I don't have to go search for it again later and now it'll just be ignored for purposes of uh, DCS uh, sorry of, of Helios writing any files. If I want to permanently stop configuring it I can click this X and I'll remove it from this list won't do anything to your DCS files, everything will just stay there. It's just that Helios will stop trying to configure that one. Uh, so it's just the opposite of this button. Okay, so now we are, um, you know, we're past the step of uh, having to configure the locations. And now it says, you know, we're just not, we're, it's just not, files are not up to date. Um, in this particular case, just out of curiosity, what does it say? Okay, it says the, the export script is not is not is not identical to what it should be, and uh, that makes sense because this is a new build of, of Helios I just made, and it changed something in the export file, so it's out of date. Uh, I'm not going to fix that now because it's not part of DCS installations to update. Now we do this task one time; it's saved machine wide in the Helios settings file, so this is not per profile. So any other profiles you configure will also use these same locations. Um, usually it will be uh, your view will be like this you because you don't you know once you've configured that you never want to see that again so usually um, this is you know when you're in a good state this would be how your uh, uh, DCS interface configuration will screen will look